Hello, friends, and good to see everybody. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. I wanted to spend some time with you, actually, to talk about OCD, especially over the holiday season. I mean, you know, let, let's face it, that uh, OCD loves a chance to ruin anything possible. And so if a holiday could be ruined by OCD, why why not, right? Why not take that road and uh, go down that way? So, so let's spend a little bit of time today just kind of discussing ways that OCD might uh, try to be that, uh, you know, uh, fly in the punch bowl, shall we say, uh, of of the Thanksgiving treat that all of us are about to eat. So, so a couple of things. And uh, don't mind me, I've got some notes over here. So if you see me looking over there, that's what we're doing. But there's a few stressors, obviously, that come up. Uh, number one, let's talk about travel. Anybody who's traveling, we know that travel is a stressor. It doesn't matter if you have OCD or not, especially in today's day and age where airlines uh, feel like they're uh, smushing you in like sardines and you're going to be around lots of people and there's not everybody wearing masks if that's an issue for you and uh, sometimes just having to be that close to people or touching people as you're crawling over them to get into seats or you're packed in that aisle of the plane waiting to get into your seat or on a train or or just even if you're going to go out shopping uh, for food or things, there's just more and more people out and about. So, so that can be a stressor. Now, of course, there's ways to deal with that. Number one, prepare yourself for those experiences, right? I I tell everyone, don't, don't just assume everything's going to go great and hope that that's the case. Uh, I want everyone to be able to go with the flow, right? Things may go well, and if they do, hey, wonderful, that's awesome. But things may not. Flights can get canceled, trains get canceled, trains can get delayed, and uh, sometimes the store runs out of the yellow potatoes that you were looking for to make your wonderful mashed potatoes. And by the way, invite me over if you are making them because I love them. But we have to roll with the flow, right? We might need to get a different kind of potato and we might have to make some other travel arrangements if that's the case. And sometimes these things occur and OCD may punish us because we should have known better and should have prepared more and should have gone to the store earlier or anything of that nature. But even if we had found what we wanted or the plane landed correctly, OCD would still find something that would have been wrong anyway. So know that the best laid plans will be destroyed by obsessive compulsive disorder. It doesn't matter if things go well, according to everyone else, your OCD will find something to make it bad. Your family, uh, you may be around a lot of them. and Boy, they they may be the people you love the most, but sometimes we know this, the people we love the most are the most annoying people in our lives at times as well, too. So be prepared, right? And one of the things that can be difficult, of course, is that if you haven't shared with your whole family about the OCD, that you're going into a situation where you feel like maybe you have to hide things. I'm not saying the holidays are the time to just reveal to everybody everything that's going on in your life. That that doesn't have to be the case. And just know, though, that you may get criticized at times by people who don't understand what's going on. And it's probably not the best time to just pick a fight with people uh, about those types of things. You may just have to say, thank you for recognizing that. I appreciate it. Uh, at some point in the future, when I'm ready, I'd like to discuss some things with you about that. I'm just not at that point at this moment. Right? And and that's fine. That's, that's where you can be. No one says that you have to uh, get into a full confession with everyone over the, the, you know, Boston cream pie that you're eating for, for dessert of something. Traveling gets you out of your routine as well, too. If you're not having things at your home, uh, it could be difficult going to other people's homes. They may have things that are very triggering for you at your home, home or, um, there could also be things if you're, if you're having people to your house that they do things that are triggering to you. So other people's homes are triggering your home could become a trigger if other people come into it and violate the order or placement of things, or you feel that things become contaminated in, in some way or things are not just right. Those can be stressors as well, too. Um, you know, there's things even if if you have kids or if you are a child and, and a student. Homework still maybe has to get done over the holidays, but of course we want to be on a break and 
And OCD loves to procrastinate you know, and say sometimes, especially if it's a just right OCD, just wait until the very end to do something because at least then you'll get it done and then you can turn it in. You won't have to check it. Of course, if you don't get a great grade on it, OCD will punish you for having waited to the very end and not having checked it. But, um, you know, it is a two-faced jerk. So just just recognize that. But you may want to come up with a plan for how you are going to deal with any school projects or homework that has to be done over the break so that that is not just something sitting over your head and you're worrying and wondering about how you're going to handle that, right? Uh, don't worry about the fact, well, it's easy to say, don't worry, isn't it? <laughs> As that was coming out of my mouth, I realized, wait a minute, what am I just saying? Uh, but recognize that sometimes people don't even enjoy break because the moment they're on break, they start worrying about when break is going to be over and uh, it's either too soon or it's too long or all the emails that they have and all those types of things as well, too. So if there's a possibility for you to really practice being in the moment and enjoying what's going on right there in the experience, that would be a really good exercise to work on over over the holidays. How can you just enjoy being there in the experience of the holiday instead of being focused on all the things from the past that might come back to haunt you or all the things in the future that you haven't yet prepared before or figured out and how they're going to be awful or horrible. So that might be something that you want to consider as well. And um, if you aren't at school and you're home more and home is more triggering for, triggering for you, just know that because of that, you're going to have more triggers in your life because uh, maybe being away at school was great for you because you were away from home. And so how do you manage being around the house more and work with your therapist on that just to really focus on, okay, here's going to be some stressors I'm going to have to deal with. And I do want to put a good, pay, uh, good face on for the family. And in order to put a good face on for my family, these are some of the things that I'm going to need to really practice and focus on over the holidays. There's, there's nothing wrong, right, with admitting, okay, I'm going to need some help in these areas and really utilizing your therapy sessions to be able to focus on those types of things. Because we want you to know ways to manage OCD. We would love to help you be prepared for when OCD might even strike unexpectedly and affect uh, you during this time of year because the holidays can be stressful. And, and let's just be honest about that, right? Um, again, we love our families, but they can be the biggest stressors in our life. We may love travel, but traveling may be one of the most stressful things in our life too. So hopefully some of these tools or tips that we've described today of trying to be present in the moment and really focusing on that, seeing your therapist before you go into some of these situations and really coming up with a plan about how you're going to handle those, hopefully even being able to do some ERP exercises prior to going into these situations so that that's not the first place that you've practiced dealing with it, but you've already practiced some simulations with it in your therapy sessions would be good too. And uh, just making plans and plans that aren't based on what OCD wants, but are based more of what you want. So around the homework and how you're going to approach that or what you're going to do if you are a person who works from home, uh, you may set a rule that says, okay, on let's say Thanksgiving day for at least five hours, the hours between uh, two o'clock, which is an hour before the family arrives and uh, you know seven or eight after they leave, I'm not going to look at my computer. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to keep it closed. And that's going to be my rule. And yes, it might be stressful and I might have this urge to go check it, but I'm going to make that commitment and you might even let someone else in your family know that that's the case so that they can help support you in all of that as well, too. Uh, if if you are the kind of person who distracts yourself on your phone constantly and is trying to always avoid being around folks, you might even have a phone bin where everybody who comes over puts their phones into the bin when they walk in the door so that everyone has to interact with each other and just be around each other as well, too. That may sound more stressful and it, you know, it might be a little bit at first but you also might actually enjoy the fact that you got time to spend with each other and not time sitting in a room with each other while each of you are on your individual phones, playing your individual games or watching your individual little reels that you like to watch. Hope these tips were helpful. I really uh, want all of you to have the best holiday that you possibly can and utilize your NoCD app, utilize your NoCD therapists and all the best to all of you from us at NoCD this holiday season. Thanks.